Welcome to the lecture students. Today we are going to see about laser diode. Before going into laser diode, we should know about the basic properties of light. What do you know about uh, properties of light? It has various properties like dispersion, reflection, refraction. So, does the laser radiation work in the same way? We are going to see about the properties of uh, laser. Before that, we should compare the properties of uh, three different materials. Here in the screen, you can see sunlight, incandescent bulb and laser light. The sunlight, you can see the radiations emitted. Um, consider these uh, waveforms as sine wave. Uh, see whether the waveform is in the same phase. It has three waveforms. It is an example. There are three waveforms, three uh, radiations emitted in different directions. Uh, three among those are chosen and see here. Uh, whether they are in same phase, all the three radiations, red, green and blue, are in different phases. The next point is, uh, all the three radiations are in different frequencies also. This is about sunlight, it emits radiation in the different directions, the different frequencies and different phase. Next, coming to incandescent bulb, uh, it, we can expect uh, the incandescent bulb to emit radiation with the single frequency, but it won't be in the same phase. Finally, the laser light, we can expect the laser light to be emit, light to be emitted in a single frequency and uh, coherent. Uh, what is meant by coherent? We will go to properties of laser, we will see step by step properties of laser. Coherent is uh, simply meaning in phase, single phase. So first property is monochromatic. What is meant by monochromatic? Uh, usually what we know about uh, various uh, radiations, UV radiation, uh, visible light, uh, infrared, these are some of the common types of radiation and we can add laser also to that. With respect to monochromatic, laser has a single wavelength. Uh, it does not have various uh, ranges of wavelength. If laser light is emitted, it has only single wavelength. Next coming to coherence, when it comes to coherence, uh, only a single phase, only one phase as shown in this uh, diagram. Laser uh, radiation is highly focused. Polarized is uh, radiation emitted in one plane. Uh, it, radiations are emitted in a single plane. Collimate, collimation is uh, focusing on a single direction. No bidirectional, no different types of uh, different directions. The light is focused in a single direction. You would have seen the laser light in uh, that's a duplicate laser light available in uh, Sunday markets. Uh, pinpointed radiation will be there. That is the example, best example for collimation. Then high energy radiations are emitted. High energy radiations uh, in the sense, the what is the unit of energy? Joule. Here time is also taken into account. So the unit of uh, laser light emitted is Joule per second. Uh, amount of energy in the form of light emitted per second is uh, given in terms of high energy. Okay, that's all about the properties of laser and the comparison between three different uh, sources or sunlight, incandescent and laser. So coming up next is the construction of laser diode. Here you can see the various uh, components that make up a single laser diode. This fully is a laser diode and this is the structure of laser diode. Uh, this a three terminal device. Uh, here the first one is a metal contact uh, top and bottom it has a metal contact uh, through which the voltage can be. it is a normal pn junction diode where you can give connection positive and negative the from the metal contact you can connect positive and uh, negative terminals so it has a p type and n type material and intrinsic layer this intrinsic layer is called the junction Usually in a PN junction diode, there will be no separate junction. So this junction is, uh, is uh, given in the laser diode uh, and it is called as an active region where there will be effective uh, combination of holes and electrons and uh, energies will be emitted. So this type of laser is called as homo junction, homo junction type. What is homo junction type? Both this P type material and N type material are made up of a single material. Uh, for example, gallium arsenide is a gallium arsenide is a material uh, from which these both p-type and n-type material are made. There are heterojunction layers uh, where these uh, p-type and n-type material will be made up of different materials. So 
this is all about the construction of laser diode uh, this is a metal contact p type and n type material this is a junction which is also called as active region so when supply voltage is given the laser diode operates and produces the laser output so we will see how the laser diode operates what are the working principles step by step working principles uh, by which a laser radiation is obtained from this and what is the reason for uh, providing a provision here in the sideways for the laser output to be emitted so coming up next is the uh, working principle of a uh, laser diode uh, here there are uh, three various uh, steps in making a laser diode to work uh, we'll see it in a step by step process the first one is energy absorption second one is spontaneous emission and third one is stimulated emission we'll see the difference between these three what is first the energy absorption electrons in the lower energy state goes to the higher energy level for example you you know already that electrons will be in state of n is equal to 1 and it will move to n is equal to 2 how does it happen when voltage is applied to that uh, device for example this is a pn junction diode as i already told when voltage is applied it will move to the higher energy level from n is equal to 1 state to n is equal to 2 state by absorbing some amount of energy here this is n is equal to 1 state to n is equal to 2 here it will uh, absorb some energy and goes to this state it will stay here uh, for some amount of time before recombination so recombination takes place in the this lower energy state here uh, the time it stays in the higher energy level is called as recombination time uh, before it uh, emits some photon how does it emits photon this is about energy absorption first uh, it emits pho photon in the spontaneous emission method it reaches the lower energy state from the higher energy state when it falls back to the lower energy level it emits some amount of photon why does it emit some amount of photon uh, while uh, going to rising to higher energy level it absorbs some energy so it has to release this release the energy in some form that form is in terms of photon so while going to lower energy state it uh, releases the energy in terms of photon so this is about spontaneous emission so voltage is applied in that pn junction diode in our laser diode energy is absorbed it stays in, uh, in the higher energy state for some amount of time then it, that is called as recombination time then it goes to lower energy state emitting some photons and again then only it uh, recomb recombines this is energy absorption and spontaneous emission here now we are going to see about stimulated emission all the procedures are same except uh, a couple of differences we will place a partially reflecting mirror on either sides of the pn junction diode so that uh, what happens uh, it reaches the higher energy level after the supply voltage is given mm, recombination time is there so while going to the lower energy state what happens the existing photon gets back gets reflected by this mirror back and forth reflected by this mirror and uh, more amount of photons are produced it uh, triggers electrons to recombine before uh, its recombination time itself for example if uh, back and forth reflect reflection takes place more amount of photons are produced if more amount of photons are produced uh, it means that energy is released uh, so faster and recombination also takes place in a faster manner so by this we make it a stimulated emission spontaneous emission without mirror stimulated emission with mirror uh, first uh, the electrons reaches the higher energy state uh, st stays there due to the mirror more amount of uh, photons are produced by back and forth reflection this more amount of photons triggers the electrons to facilitate the recombination in a faster way than it occurs in its original time so this is the procedure by which this uh, working principle of uh, laser, working of laser diode occurs energy absorption spontaneous emission stimulated emission thank you so now we are going to see about uh, output characteristics of a laser diode uh, here we can see the x axis as a current y axis as optical power and in the graph we can see uh, different regions region of spontaneous emission 
region of stimulated emission and uh, point of threshold current what is threshold current it is a point of current after which the uh, radiation laser radiations are emitted in a perfectly coherent manner uh, in a single frequency so what happens uh, laser uh, ele the electron starts to move from the lower energy stage to higher energy state due to the based on the application of the bias voltage in the pn junction diode the partially reflecting mirrors are placed and the photons emitted uh, due to the electrons reflect back and forth in the mirror uh, and it uh, facilitates a recombination of electrons in a prior so the current has to be uh, there uh, has to reach a threshold current the point after which the current will produce the optical power rises the optical power um, at that point uh, where the emission of photons uh, produces the recombination of uh, electrons and holes produces this threshold current the current slowly increases from zero to this point and threshold current is produced due to uh, very good amount of recombination because of the reflecting mirrors and the optical power output is reached in this is called as stimulated emission where we can uh, achieve the uh, perfectly coherent radiation